Hello, thank you for listening to the State Flight Podcast. This is episode 135. I am Grant Fierro here with Mike Medina. And we're going to talk about what went down this week. So, Crooked, Crooked released footage uh, from their New York trip on Thrasher. It was a lot. Of, um, the footage was, it was a trip working on LSD, the full-length video. Yeah, so you could where, tell from the clothing. Yeah, well, I mean, a bunch of those clips are in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like all the footage. Um, it was kind of like, uh, it's almost like a rough cut, but not for one person, just for a trip. Got to see some attempts and random stuff, which I thought was sick. Um, it was cool. It's a little different. I mean, we're used to seeing the rough cuts at this point, which I think everyone loves. Uh, but it was something a little different and cool. I think anyone and everyone who is, like rides a skateboard or has ever ridden a skateboard just likes to see Mark Gonzalez fuck around. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's like, be honest. I, I thought it was sick. I, like, they're all people, people <laughs> skating. And he's just like mobbing around on his bike, <laughs> whatever. It was pretty funny. Yeah, when they're skating, like the flat, like the street gap is like the funniest shit ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. See, so get the dude, his uh, switch C-Bo. tray, dude. Gonza's switch tray was looking kind of fire on that big ass board too. Oh, I know. Well, he didn't do it, right? I know so, he didn't make yeah, it. But, yeah, like, yeah no, but it was there. He could have. Yeah, exactly. Like it yeah, was. He there. was in like some some Adidas running shoes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that fucking board was gigantic. Yeah, dude. this board is so big. That is crazy. It's Off crazy, the curb, yeah. and he was he was trying to like land on like that cobblestone rock, whatever <laughs> stuff. I feel like he embodies like the New York. I don't want to say like stereotype, but like I feel like he's such like a fucking New Yorker at this point. Like just like the way like he carries himself, like so like just. You know, willy dilly, just out there, like I'm here. Yeah. I think it's so sick. I also feel like, uh, like there was like this like moment of like uh, that was kind of like a, like a, I'm a New Yorker type of East Coast dude. When like Bobby Warris, when they showed Bobby on the subway, I was like, dude, Bobby's a fucking G. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was such a sick shot, dude. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like him on the yeah. subway car. I was like, dude, yeah. that was sick. Like, I don't know what it is about that shot. It looks so tight. I was like, dude, Bobby Warris looks so badass right now. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Um, I like when they set that one spot where like they were all up onto that ledge and then gap into the street. And Bobby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Head. Yeah. Um, dude, that he's got a real good one. Yeah, his front three looks super cool. Sometimes people make that trick look weird. Yeah, I mean, I think the best looking ones are like how Bobby did it, where they kind of bone it out and they're turning more off of their nose. I love it when it's like that, dude. That's how yeah. Zion does it too. Yeah, that that's probably the best way, the best looking front threes, I think. Um, I think. Oh, Jeremy Ray, dude. Jeremy Ray front that's three. Front three. Oh, that's a good front three. Who did? Yeah, did that's got the that best one. one. He's got the far. best one, dude. Uh, I think so. Yeah, and then Gon's lips to the ledge, which was sick. Um. Yeah, I would love to try to skate his setup, especially now that you mentioned how big that thing is. I'd like to skate like a small crazy. mini ramp with it. Yeah, that'd be fun. Like really chill tranny with it would be <laughs> yeah, super dude. fun, dude. Crazy. I feel like you could just slide around everywhere with those wheels. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude, you could like come into fakie off of anything. <laughs> <laughs> just cruise on in. Dude. I just want to like, the shape just looks crazy. Yeah, all of his shapes looks in, look insane. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wonder, I wonder how long he has a board, like, or if, you know, I mean, obviously he has some that he probably prefers more than others, you know. Yeah. But like, dude, we every time we see footage of this guy, it's for sure a different board, like a way out there different kind of board, you know. Not yeah, just like I a board in the now. Crooked series. Like, what oh. were those called? The uh, like the tennis boards you had that they released. Tennis boards. 10 inch. There were oh, some, 10 like, inch. crazy shape ones with the flames on it. I can't remember the name. But they came out like, I don't know, like four months ago or something. That's anyway, they, uh, uh, so I went in person and that thing was crazy. I like stood on it real quick. Like someone had to add a skate park here. I was like, whoa, I, I want to remember the name. Anyway, that thing was wild. I was like, it's probably pretty fun to have this to like, like when you're chilling, like, I don't know, skate a slappy curb or something. But I can't imagine that being like an everyday. We board. have one. We have one at Fargo, dude. Hey. Oh, really? Yeah, it's super sick. My dog's here. Dude, she says, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we have one at Fargo. It's super rad. Uh, it's extremely fun to skate, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Doing, like, the little Wally back blunt slides. Oh, man. 
that's the <laughs> that's like the best shit. That's so fun. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So I mean, that was. Oh, also, Crooked in New York. I really like when they were skating that uh, that like spot with all those little circle mani pad, tons of options. Or like Sebo does like nose, nose manual, 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 nose manual, manual, manual flip. flip. Yeah. Yeah. And Cromer would like ollie up the gap and then. Oh yeah, dude, something. that, was that cool looked so gnarly. Yeah, I really like that approach that he took. Yeah, I think that's what's cool because I mean we've seen it in tons of videos. I've never seen it skated like, like that. Yeah, yeah. There's always like there's a lot of different ways to skate it. Yeah. Like Gon's like all it up and back slappy. Brack, yeah, I, we've seen that though. We've seen people like ollie up and grind that little thing to nose like to to manual the little pad below it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's like, cool. There's like so many options there. Totally, that spot looks sick as fuck, dude. Yeah. Especially if you're a manual guy. Like if you're a manual guy, there's like literally endless options there. Yeah, know? there's a ton. And then what did um the Bobby do? Front shove the gap and then shove off the block or whatever. Yeah. Sick. I'd like yeah. to see Brad Cromer go back there and maybe like try to like kickflip that shit or imp- impossible it. Oh man. Dude, you know what? I still want to figure out he's how, like in his part one. how he does that tail slide impossible. Was I so still crazy. The most wrapped, the most wrapped in the game. Yeah, that trick's wild. And that dude's a legend, man. I mean, to see the like minute of footage you put on Instagram yesterday yeah. was so crazy. He's not, he's not fucking around. Like any, like when you see video footage of him, he's like he always does something extremely hard. Yeah, yeah. And just makes it look so good. Like I remember, I always remember that. It's like a mini Instagram video, just skating over a parking block. And That's how I feel day. about that. Uh, so that snapped, like caught so well. That's how I feel about that one dude, man. Why well, can't I think of his name? Nick Garcia. Oh yeah. Like holy shit, dude! The game yeah, is Nick, sleeping Nick's on Nick Garcia. Like, he's so good. Yeah, he's one of those dudes that kind of make like anything into a spot. I feel like, like he can just skate whatever and make something look so sick. I also – who's your favorite – Who? okay, just a random question. I'll give you a second to think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, what – who's your favorite dude to watch – specifically watch Instagram footage of? Like who uh, do you get hyped when they like drop that good and you're like, fuck yeah, dude. Um, Especially well, now that we have minute-long footage, dude, we've seen some good shit. Maybe uh, – honestly, probably a shot. Yeah, I figured like when that. He, when, yeah, when he – I mean, even on his stories, like like last night. The, the oh, my night, God. Night, goes, that like, boy went part. off. And he'll just put all his clips on his story. Yeah. Like him skating beebles last night was so sick. Like he does that tail side front side flip on the ledge, yeah. and then he barely moves his feet. And I was like, dude, this has to be a switch laser just because it's a shot. And his like it looks like it's a like switch heel right after. Like, it's so mellow for him to switch laser flip on flat ground. Like uh, it's crazy. I don't know how to even explain how easy. He looks like his feet are just there, and he just jumps, and the board flips so perfect and like fast. Yeah, yeah, it looks so cool. That and then, like, I mean, even when he, he was nose blowing the quarter pipe, the pool coping one, the popping out and trade flip on Dude, flat. He was, his nose blunt was like three quarters of that shit, too. It, he is so sick. He's and when best. he switched up the ledge and then half cap flipped over the table, that half cap flip was so proper. Fuck it, dude. Give him Saudi again. Let's go. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, I mean, it's like my favorite skateboarder. So, of course, you're watching him anywhere, whether it's Instagram yeah, or same. video park. Same. I feel you. I mean, on him, that. Louis, it's just like that good shit. I'm man. just saying my favorite skateboarders at this point, but Louis Lopez will put some crazy stuff on Instagram. Like, he has this one video where he skates Westchester. That's fine. You're allowed to say it. And it's just like, guys. Dude. He does front blunt back 270 kickflip out on like, the front bar. I really like watching Ryan Gallant footage. Oh, that's sick. He he skits like he's sick like, as fuck. Weird spots. He's so like, sick. There's that one video, kickflip back nose bones a rock. <laughs> yeah, like so he crazy. does it with style and not like with tic tacs. Like it looks like he was like did yeah. that five times and picked his favorite one. Yeah, he he skits interesting stuff like weird curb type. Yeah, legend you have to understand like, that like Ryan Galan is already a fucking legend. You know what I mean? Like oh, he's, yeah. just, he's having fun with skating at this point, and I like to see shit like that. Yeah, same cool. same goes for P Rod. Like dude, fuck, P-Rod dude. Recently, what? I have been loving P Rod's Instagram recently, which is, I mean, I've always obviously like Paul's a legend. To, I had to I, post it on this, but there's been times where like I don't know, I've been. I don't know. I just always like, okay, he's a legend. Sometimes I'm into his footage. Sometimes, uh, I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me that much. But recently, like, uh, it's so sick. Yeah, I completely I know, agree. Like, uh, Spanish, like, just the way the footage looks. Yeah. The tricks he's doing. 
I don't, yeah. It just looks so cool. They all look perfect, but like I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he's the shit, man. I'm sorry. I mean, we saw like there was like I feel like a couple of years where he was really focused on contests, and we weren't really getting any street footage out of him or not. Yeah, much. but that's why he's a millionaire, dude. And then, uh, <laughs> and then 2017, he didn't skate a single contest. And I mean, he already talked about it on the nightclub that he doesn't really want to put a part out, but he's out doing the same thing he would be doing if it was a video part. He's like going off in schoolyards and at street spots. And just putting them on Instagram. And, like, those videos, like, those three lines at that school with over a bench, hit the bench, and, like, a 10 stair was so, so gnarly. Super good fake. And then he went to the spot again, and he got, like, two more lines. Yeah. Super yeah. good fake. He flips super good switch track. And also, he does those tricks. Like, the beginning of each line where he does a trick over a bench, mm. he makes that look really easy. And that's Yeah, he does, like, switch heel, then, like, switch flip back 5-0. Yeah, and then the next one I think is Nolly frontside flip, and then switch back five zero one eighty. Doing a flip trick one eighty over a bench like that in a schoolyard is a lot harder than. Yeah, no shit. Know, like, the pros make that look like so easy. Like that, but it's like, dude, yeah. if you're skating that, like that's crazy. Yeah, he's been killing it. Uh, Tori Puddle has crazy stuff on Instagram. Yeah, too. he's a good. He actually skated the same spot. And he backside flipped over a bench, and. He was like, there could have been like a bench and a half. And he went so far. And his board flipped so fast and caught it. It was wild. Well, still like, oh, fuck, Spencer, dude. Spencer, oh, Spencer drops that fire, dude. He drops that good shit. Oh, you know who came up the sick one today was uh, Chris Colburn. It was like, it's like yeah, the longest line dude. ever. He posted a video. Today. It's like, you have to swipe because the line is like, the line's like two minutes. <laughs> like, it's That's just crazy. Him. He like, skate, does some stuff at the beginning and then. He's just like going down a hill, just skating flat ground, like whatever. It's so sick. I feel like more people need to know who he is. He's good as fuck. Oh, yeah. He's he's insane. Oh, Davis like, and Jack, they come out with super cool oh, stuff together. Yeah. Like, yeah, Davis goes the off. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was super rad. Yeah, those are some good ones, dude. Yeah, that was, who else for you other than Spencer? Oh, for me? Thanks yeah, you got one else. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um... Off the top of my head, I don't yeah. know, but did you see that fucking Zion fifty fifty man? Dude, oh my! I've watched that clip a million times. Yeah, it's came up on my I, Instagram a lot. I can't get over how gnarly that is. Yeah, that's just like I how, just do, you, how, how do you step, to that, how yeah, do you step to that spot? How do you step to that spot, dude? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that, that that's a video part clip for sure. No shit, that's what I was like. It must like have just been stuff, like, dude. It must have just been like he just saw it and there was no camera and he was just like. You want to know why, dude? Because he's pro what? as fuck. <laughs> he's so good. He's so pro. It's insane. Speaking of pro, dude, where's it at? Let's go get it. <laughs> well, well, Mike grabs his little surprise. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. It's official now, dude. We've made it. We? Are you related to Zion? What? (laughs) You said we made it, Zion. The board says Zion right on it. We made it, dude. It's all good. Dude, I can't. This board is so sick, dude. Are you going to skate it? Nope. Is it going on the wall? (sighs) Yep. Wow. I saw one actually at a skate park yesterday. But what yeah, was I going to say? Um, if anyone from Deluxe is listening to this, I would love to see another My Favorite Skater series. I would love it. <laughs> anyway. Um, did you see those boards that they dropped with, like, the fucking, um, like, the Asian or, like, the Japanese, Chinese? Oh, stuff? yeah, Mr. Tucks. Mr. I Tux. I, always, the, uh, I had the Dennis Business one. I have some of his t-shirts. They're great. Yeah, that dude's art super cool. Yeah, they're super sick. But anyway, the one with fucking K-Walk's little dog, dude. Are you serious? Yeah. That's like the best board, dude. That's like the best What's board. the name of his dog? Uh, I don't know. I think he has one dog named Zeus. Zeus, for sure. There's one other, though. It's, uh, I don't remember. Anyway, or some shit, who knows? No, that, that's boo. Yeah, that that is <laughs> sick though. It's his dog. Yeah, that one's so tight. That's like one of my favorite boards that I've seen lately. Um, Joey Guevara released a part on Thrasher. He's uh, 
I don't know. Was it even really with Alien? I don't know. It was on Thrasher. He's pro for Alien. So it was yeah, pro Alien and that's pro how I know who he is. What else does he ride for? Uh, it's on Cons, Thunder. Uh-huh. I don't really know what else. Okay. I, think I, I read a, his like follow-up interview on Thrasher, and it's I think it was he was saying uh, someone from Alien, I think, is starting a, a new wheel company. So I think he's like skating for that. Sick. But... <laughs> I don't remember the name. I'll, I'll look it up right now as we as we chat about this part. Um, I mean, I've seen his footage before for sure. Obviously, he's, he's had stuff come out in the past. I think he had something come out la- just last year. Yeah, it's something with Alien, I think. Yeah. Didn't he go pro last year? Yeah, yeah he went pro last year. Um, so it was probably that. Um, but he definitely has, like, a really, like, flowy around, like, Kind of like he's cruising type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, it looks. He's got that style where it looks like he's not really trying very hard. Yeah, he he definitely looks like pretty mellow. Uh huh. Um, which is cool because I mean that's definitely hard to hard to do. I feel like I feel like Chris Chan has that style. Chris Chan. Yeah, where it just looks like they're not really trying very hard. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm not so a tech that I'm like, yeah. Chris Chan is so tech, dude. That I didn't realize crazy. that Adidas had him on like that. Like, he's on, he's on Adidas. Yeah? Yeah, he goes on trips and everything. Oh, really? I didn't know he went on I didn't know that either until recently. That's interesting. Very. I mean, he's a great skateboarder. There's no denying that, dude. Yeah, no, he's whether, so whether you want to, like, start the youtuber conversation that's for a different time but i mean as, a, as far as a skateboarder he's a great skateboarder yeah i feel like he's is. not necessarily like that it's your boy chris chan come back with a subscription and a link and <laughs> like i don't necessarily feel like he's that way it is crazy like we saw him <clears throat> come up on more of like the mainstream normal. I remember him from Battle to Barracks. Yeah, that's Battle like how Barracks. I know who he is. Is yeah, strictly I mean, that's from Battle to Barracks. Totally. And he kind of like went on his own path and did the YouTube thing. So he kind of like was in both sections. Because I think there's kind of like a lot of dudes that do their thing on YouTube uh, feel like like it's, it's just a different path in skateboarding than the normal of getting sponsored and putting out video parts and right. whatever. Um, we kind of saw Chris Chan do both, which is interesting. I think we've seen too many dudes really do And I that. feel like just a majority of them are so fucking cheesy that it's, like, hard to relate to. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go ahead. I don't give a shit. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not, Him and that John Hill dude aren't horrible to me. The John Hill's a really good skateboarder. Like, they're not horrible to me. I've watched not – it's not like I sit there. Like, I'm not, like, subscribed to these dudes sitting there like, fuck, yeah, they just dropped a video. Like – but they're not horrible to me, not at all. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that they're super nice dudes, too, you know? Yeah, I actually randomly met uh, the dude John Hill once before. At, uh, I was at the courthouse with Mike Peck and June Sato. And See, but again, he's they, somebody like, that I was each into. Other. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, like, said what up, and I was just with those dudes. So, like, I, he introduced himself to me, and he was super cool. And who was it? I don't know. It was just like, he seemed like a normal guy, just out skating, whatever. Was he filming himself when he was like. Do we? Uh, no, I seen him like setting up his camera and filming him skating, but I didn't see him like. See, like that's not necessarily weird to me. No, no, not at all. Like if he was like sitting there, like you, you guys had just met, and he's sitting there, like, hey, I'm meeting this guy named Greg oh, yeah, right no, now. Wasn't like, I'd be like, yeah, what the I fuck? Like, dude? Uh, I mean, he didn't do that at all. I, I, I feel like maybe. Like that, that would for sure be weird. But like, again, I don't, I don't think he would do that to anyone, you know. Like, but again, kinda, though, like I feel like this is like I knew him prior to YouTube. Knew of him? Yeah, knew of him prior to YouTube. From what? Friendship. Okay, yeah. And, like, Lakai and shit. Yeah. So, like, does that even count? Does, does what count? Like, I don't know, not count, but, like, to me, I, I guess in my own mind, I guess, maybe, like, he's not a YouTuber because I knew him prior. Oh, no, or he's he still a prior. YouTuber. He posts videos no, on I know. YouTube, like, every day. No, I know that. I know that. But I mean, like, as far as, like, fitting, like, that persona, I guess. Oh, uh, I don't know. Even though he absolutely does, and he's, like, completely molded of that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. I don't know. Whatever, dude. I don't know. Whatever. Man. They're doing their thing. Yeah, I was going to say. He's a super skateboarder. He was a cool guy. And some of them, like, pay their bills with that shit. So, like, oh, yeah. That's, I mean, power to you, do. man. I, we wish we could do that. Don't yeah. you wish that we could, we could just talk about this shit and pay bills? That'd be crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, I think they're, they're putting it like, home. Dude, they, what they do is so time consuming. Yeah, no, trust me. Like, and my it's, roommate, it's we're cool just, as it looks from the outside, and I'm sure they like it, but it's like, dude, that's not easy. No, the whole fucking putting out videos every out, like, single day. Video every like, day. are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, look what look what happened to Drew, dude. It melted his brain. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Some dudes probably can't handle that, which makes sense. That's hey, so much time. Know, energy, it's effort. insane. Um, but I guess that's like the price you. You have to get to ten k subscribers. Job. You have to get to ten k subscribers just to make any money, just to monetize your videos. Interesting. I feel like there's no way we'd be allowed to, dude, unless I stop cussing. <laughs> um, what, what were we even talking? Oh, we're talking about Joey Guevara. Oh we're shit! Even, I'm we're sorry. Even talk- no, no, no. It's fine to, to go on to our own path. We got a short list this week. We got. It's okay. Discuss. We can talk about him for a little bit, but I'm sure we're going to talk about Frankie Spears anyway. Um, dude, Joey killed it though. I think did he Smith grinded that one route the kink at the end that was sick looking. But I don't know, like like we said, it's just kind of oh, and he does this sick pop shove it, dude. I I'm really into pop shove it recently, as long as they're done <clears> a certain way. Like the ones that are pushed out in front of you and they even out look so sick. Yeah, like, those are tight. Louis Lopez and Nikel. Nikel uh, has the best ones. Yeah, Nikel probably is my favorite. Uh, Joey did a sick one. Garrett Hill forever has a good one. He pops his so high. That dude does front foot impossibles, like, vertically. Yeah, it's, like... (laughs) Whatever I think about, no matter what he does, yeah, no matter what he's done or what he's going to do, I will always know, like, think of him for that, for some reason. But when I've seen it in slow-mo, like, I understand how he does it. I don't. But it's... No, no, but, like, if you watch it, it's, like, it's pretty much like he ollies and then just, like, pushes his front foot and the board goes around and he just moves his back foot. Just but like, like the fact that he's a mount of pop to do that on flat ground, like that that's so much to do and like just on a flat ground Ollie pretty much. Dude, like, just crazy. like the way that he it raps is like not real. The best was was in the uh, Legion of Doom game when Yeah when yeah. when Costin tried to count his. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> and also like when Costin tried the first one, and I think it was Mikey or someone was like, That's not the same trick. And, and Cost is like, it's still a front foot impossible. It just doesn't look the same. <laughs> and then and then Mo's like, he's like, yeah, yours are still pretty sick. <laughs> and I'm like, Mo got hyped on Cost. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Dude, was what was I going to say? Um, speaking of front foot impossibles, what was the trick that Kalis used to do it out of? Oh, he did fakey 5 0, fakey front foot impossible. At That's point. what it is. That's that was so crazy. Was that in a DGK thing or was that just on Instagram? Ah, I was in DGK. Yeah. What, like Blood. parental advisor or something? Blood money. Was it? No, it might have been parental advisory, actually. Yeah, That's know. when, dude, that, that DGK team is completely different. Yeah, there's yeah, they've definitely had some changes since then. I mean, that was a little while back. That There's been a lot of changes since then. What do you think of when you think DGK now? Boo Johnson. Yeah, I think Boo and then and I that's think it. Jane. I don't even think of anyone besides Boo Johnson and Stevie. Yeah, Boo definitely. And I guess Wade. Yeah. I think of Wade. Oh, yeah, cause, Wade. Because I love that, dude. I mean, Wade's in my head, but when I, like, until you said it, when I was talking about DGK, that didn't really pop into my head. Same. I always think of Boo Johnson now. He's, like, the one that's got to be outselling everyone board wise by, like, yeah, I would. I would. Crazy so. numbers. Yeah, he definitely seems to. Like, that's a marketable dude, man. Yeah, Whether he, he, like he seems to have, like, branded himself. Yeah. Pretty well. I think it everything started with him when he got kicked off a of Mountain Dew. That's when he said, Fuck it, I'm just gonna do this shit my way. And that's like when he got the most relatable. Yeah, he's definitely blown dude. The thing that was trippy to me was uh, I went out to the Street League Super Crown in LA, like uh what September or whenever that was. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he walked into the like to sit down, all these kids were stoked and getting his autograph, whatever, and that, that, happened that makes Chicago sense. Too. You know, he's a, he's a professional skateboarder. Um, mm-hmm. But what was crazy to me was his homie Slinks. It's like they're always Is that the dude that looks yeah. like T-Pain? Uh, yeah. Dude, I seriously thought he was. Bro, I thought it was T-Pain. Um, all these kids were like, Slinks, Slinks, like, like trying to get photos of them and have him sign their stuff. And I was like, 
Well, that's pretty crazy because this dude Slinks is like just Boo's homie. Like it's not like he's like uh, making it in skating or you know a social media star, dude. You can yeah, see that. Yeah, I was like, wow, like Boo really has like a, a big influence on these kids. It's yeah, pretty wild. Definitely. But Boo, dude, Boo kills it. He's he's crazy to watch skate. He does hard flip back Smiths on handrails. <laughs> not many other people do that. That's was really that last hard. year at Tampa Pro or the year before when he did it? That in the was best trick? yeah. I was gonna say it I know that was in so a video. Crazy. Bar. I remember I there know. was an interview with them. Like I think it was at Tampa, and they were like, "Oh, like what's up with the hard flip back Smith and the and the best trick you did?" And he he said something along the lines of like, oh, "I was just chilling, like I wasn't gonna skate," and then everyone was killing it, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just go try it," and then he he did it so good. That is. Crazy. That's a really fucked up trick, too. The fact that he can just pull that out. One of my homies does hard flip back 50s like it's nothing, and I think that's oh, really that's fucking crazy. weird. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's super crazy. Um, Mike, your favorite shoe company, Adidas, as everyone can tell by your hat. I love it. Uh, they came out with the updated Mark Suchu shoe, the Suchu ADV2. They look fire. Uh, Pretty similar silhouette to his, his first shoe. It's pretty much his updated version. He said they changed the heel a little bit, the way it fits. Uh, the stripes are a little different. I think the tongue as well. So pretty much just refined the shoe, made it uh, better. You know, he's Which, probably more. I mean, I skated. I skated the first one, and they were fucking real good. Oh, you, you liked them? Yeah, they're a cup sole though. So if you're into that, they're very cuppy. Are you into that? No. I we've talked about this a thousand times. No. Yeah, I thought you were into Volk shoes. That's I am. Crazy. Yeah, I bought those just because I like the way they look, and I really like Mike Mark Suchu, and they have the – um, they ha I can't – I forgot the – I wish fucking – where's Kyle when you need him, dude? They have that insole that's like the fat-ass blue one. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. And I had those in the um, the Superstar, like the shell toes. Uh-huh. And, dude, I'm talking like zero foot problems ever. Oh, okay. So you wanted like, to issues with that insole, and yeah. exactly that's really what it came down to was like I had zero like heel bruises, zero like anything with those. So yeah. that's what it came I down to. I like the to. little, uh, like the emblem they put on the tongue of his shoe. Yeah, it's sick as fuck, oh, dude. Like, like the Adidas logo that's on your hat, but then they put like those circles and it's in gold. Yeah, it looks super cool. I'm probably gonna get the new suit shoes. To be yeah, quite honest them out. with you, try them out. Yeah, there's we we have them at Fargo Skateboarding in DeKalb, Illinois. Um, oh, they already got the new ones. Yeah, we have uh, Adidas and Nike uh, accounts, so we kind of get like we had like the Ashads early, like the the blue or not the blue, the fucking gray and pink ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like we get like some shit comes early, like we had the Miles. Um, Match court colorway hella early too, and like the Nikel oh, cool. like colorways come early for us, dude. The Nikel colorways sell out at Fargo within like a fucking day. Like yeah, Nikel is another dude. That like, like almost all of his sizes just go. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's super cool. That is nuts. It's like I think the only other shoe like just coming from my like skate shop personally are like you know just like my local shop. Yeah, yeah. Is like Corey Kennedy's shoe, like when it first dropped. Went yeah, I remember there was like bonkers. a big demand for that shoe. Yeah, dude, that because shit he was skating for like two years and no one really knew what it was. Right. Well, I, I remember, I remember I, people figuring out it was like an old tennis shoe. Yep. Yep. And then, and then people tried to hit up eBay and they're like fucking yeah, two hundred dollars. You can find shit. them on eBay. Some yeah. people got them though on eBay. Yeah, but um, anyway, um, what it was was they did it. They they labeled them as a quick strike, which is typically like kind of like Nike. I feel like it's like them like testing the grounds, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's like a limited run. Right? It's a limited run. So like, dude, we only had I think we got two of each size, like from like five to whatever. And yeah, yeah. Dude, they were like fucking gone. Uh, well, I remember there was that first color, the black with the white, the swoosh. black with the white swoosh. They never, yeah. they never made it them again. Nah, and that shit was just so gone, random. It's like a, the, the basic colorway, you know. Yeah, but, but that's like that's how to that's how to get your shit out there, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it makes make sense. it a make it. That a was really, when the toe cat was like just about to start popping it off. It was yeah, the that was the pop of the toe cat. Yeah, it was the CK. Like there wasn't shit yet. That was the, that was the toe cat pop. Well, like, speaking that was, of the toe cat, uh, did you see the new uh, the GX one thousand cons? No, I haven't, but GX1000 is super sick, dude. GX1000 has a video releasing today on Thrasher. 
Oh yeah, I know. I'm new, ready. New Jinx 1000 video. But I'm he, still watching Sabotage from last week. That shit's fire. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good video to watch. Fuck uh, but yeah, yeah GX 1000 and Clowns collab with some Jack Purcells, and they come in like a GX 1000 bag. And, um, <laughs> that's sick. In a it's bag. Just GX 1000 on the heel, like the little heel tag. It's, G- like, it's like GX1 and then mm, the, the zero is like the star, so it's like cons. And then, um, I mean, he's uh, he's one of the filmers for the new cons video, so oh, that's shit. super rad. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, he's been going on trips with them. Like this, oh, there's that one line where Kenny Anderson does that insane full cab that I reposted. He filmed that line. Him. Where are like, these fucking shoes at on cons? You think? Uh, yeah, I believe cons posted them. They're like they're just all black leather Jack Purcells. <laughs> Converse cons should have posted them. Uh, yeah, right here. The photos are oh, black and white. They, they almost are. look gray in this photo, but they're all black. Yeah, I see them. But uh, some shop I just seen like on my explore page posted the heel. It has a super cool logo. Um, yeah, so that came out. Uh, what were we talking about before that? Oh, just shoes. No, we're just talking about shoes. Yeah, well, there's like three things on our list this week, so well, who cares? Yeah, I mean, it's good to just just chat. Yeah, that's uh, what our, actually, that's a, that's our niche, man. That's our niche anyway, dude. We're just some yeah. friends, and we're talking about skateboarding. Some just like friends you, that have never met. <laughs> just like you would be talking some with your friends. Just like you would be talking with your internet friends. <laughs> um, oh, Axel, shit. Axel, Axel, Crusher, Axel Crusher. Uh, he left New Balance Numeric. That oh, came man. as a complete surprise to myself. And me. I was actually, I was out skating. I got home. I, like, parked my car in front of my house. And then Billy texted me Axel off New Balance. And I was just like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, look, they posted. And which I actually think is super cool um, for them to, to post about that. Because I think it's, like, it's just, like, a professional look uh, when brands handle that situation in that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially for someone, like, don't get me wrong, Axel's a big name. Um, and if you read these comments, like a lot of people are, seem to be bummed he's gone. But it's not like he's the face of the company. Like New Balance could have easily just not really said anything about it. Uh, but they, I like the way they handled it. Yeah. Uh, they said, and thanks I for the good like... times, Axel. Best of luck to you and your future endeavors. Cheers. So, and which, which typically means that at least the contract, you know, was, was fulfilled. Yeah, like they – they were happy with each other. Uh, they they split ways. I'm sure we'll know pretty soon. I think shoe announcements usually happen quick because the dude has to be skating in some sort of shoes, so everyone's going to know quick what mm-hmm. they're skating. So um, uh, just by looking at the comments and just where right. I think he fits, I would assume he's going to skate for Vans. Mm-hmm. But that's a complete guess. I mean um, – where else, dude? Where else is he going to go? Yeah. It didn't, I think he used to get Americas before he really blew up and gone. Uh, before he was just. Before I think before King of the Road, before New Balance, all that. Like, I think he used to get Americas when he was younger. Um, so I saw someone comment that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I could, like, he would fit, but I'm pretty sure he used to get Americas, so I don't think it would happen. Um, I don't know. Vans just seems like a really good fit for him. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure we'll know soon, but. Especially if, if you're Vans, dude, fucking sign the contract. Yeah, what are you doing? Like like he, yeah. he skates Perfect. big shit. He's super young. His girlfriend skates for them. Like, keep him moving, dude. Yeah. I actually ran into, I don't know either of them, but I seen both of them at like a local park here in San Diego just a few weeks ago. Just, just shredding. Together. Axel was killing it. Axel was super cool. He was like, it was mellow. There wasn't too many people at the park, and they were both pretty like, Mellow talking to people as I mean as most pro skateboarders are. I was gonna say, I mean, he seems like a chill dude. Yeah, it was super cool. He there, there's a bump over cone, everyone skates at the park. Uh-huh. He did this speaking of pop shove, this dude made this pop shove, it looks so cool. It was just one of those ones where it's right out in front of them and it it, it straightens out. It, it almost like cut it primo. It was do you think? Primo. It was do so you cool. think that this has kind of maybe been in the works, and that's why we didn't see a lot of footage of him in tricolor? Um, maybe. I don't know. I what what did he that. have? Like two tricks? Yeah, only he a few. Three I don't remember how many, but uh, not too much. But I mean, tricolor was definitely like focused on three dudes, and everyone else only had a few clips. Yeah, but I mean, he's like 
Like, yeah, like, why wouldn't he be one of the – Their dude. Like, he was, yeah. like, one of their fucking dudes. And so, in my eyes, as, like, a, just a complete outsider, like, I associated him with that brand heavy. Yeah. Uh, it's possible. I have no idea. I didn't really think I about wonder. that, honestly. I wonder. I mean, what, they pushed Frankie, uh, PJ, and then who had the other part? Um, who had the other part in Tricolor? Jack? No, no, it was uh, was it? No, it was. Um, it was it J P Souza or it was like someone? No, shoot. No, I feel so <laughs> what? I've watched that video a bunch too. That's crazy. No, it's dude. I, it's Flo. That's who it is. Oh, Flo Martin, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was someone tech. <laughs> Flo got all the board control. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't watched it all the way through in a while. I watched Frankie's part. A bunch. A part in it. I watched PJ's part quite a few times too. Yeah, that's sick. Dude, Frankie just goes off in that video. His kick yeah. the front wall ride in that video part is unbelievable. Hmm. He just straight flies at the wall. <laughs> it's just yeah, that is insane. That's so crazy. Hmm. Uh, well, let's just run through these all these news things, and we got another video or two to chat about. Mark cool. Johnson no longer skates for otherness. Hyped on well, not hyped that he's not skating for something, but I'm I'm kind of interested to see what him and Jerry are gonna do now that they're both like free agents officially. Yeah, there the, there could be something there. Oh, there gotta be. Come on, dude. Uh, they just that's what happened. That's that's what they do. <laughs> they skate for the same brand. That's just uh, oh, that's shit. Yeah, that's I how mean, skateboarding works. For me, like the whole time <laughs> that Mark's been involved with, it, however it was with otherness. Like, I just didn't really seem like that was going to be his home forever. Yeah, I agreed. I don't know his relationship with uh, – maybe he's good friends with the dudes that run that. Uh, the, when he left, I almost viewed it like like when Costin was doing his guest boards. Um, like, Weekend. Like, Costin, yeah, it was kind of like Costin was kind of just helping that out. Was that was such a cool idea. Cool. Like, you that know, marketing like, idea was thing with Weekend, uh, I mean, even State Metal. Yeah. You know, not that Weekend and State Metal are small, but it was like those are – I mean, there are stuffy backs. Yeah, they I mean, they're not small. huge, but like they're, they're they're doing good. It's like yeah. things. I mean, but I, I mean, don't know what they're doing. In the relative, I'm saying is it's like, not like it was brands no one had heard of. Is right, right but in like the so. relative scheme of things, those are two like small brands. Oh yes, 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 yes. I I, I misspoke. I what still I really think that is, it's brands people are at least familiar with. Dude, like, that uh, that marketing. Like did that. Yeah, that marketing of like Costin's on for the weekend. Was, yeah, that like, was the best. That funnest was thing, dude. Yeah, and the video they had with him was so. It was just well, they they kill it on like the little fucking skits, dude. They yeah, nail yeah, those for sure. things. That's we haven't thing. we haven't seen skits like that since like Spike Jones girl yeah, shit. I was gonna dude. say girl videos. Like uh, that's I mean the uh, we've seen cool birdhouse ones too. I don't know. I think that the weekend ones are great, dude. Yeah, they killed it with that for sure. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like that came to my mind. Like, oh, maybe uh, it was kind of just like a homey small thing. And MJ, I mean, MJ put it on the map, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and that's it. And now I'm pretty, pretty excited, like you said, to see what's next for him. And yeah, like you mentioned, Jerry. He's so Jerry awesome. Who doesn't have a board sponsor at the moment? We've seen Jerry skating hockey boards. Um, we're going to see probably within the coming months at some point. If they're going to do something together, what what, what goes down? I'm going to go with I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mike sounds pretty confident they're doing something together, which I wouldn't Dude. be surprised. <laughs> they do, yeah, like, man, the, all this make a lot of sense. All the stars are kind of aligning here at the at the time that kind of leads me to believe that they're going to do something. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be exciting to see. Which, uh, I mean, I'm do, super down for. I love MJ. Love Jerry. Dude, MJ is... They're both, like, on that level. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're like, just... fuck yeah, those dudes are Crazy shit. skateboarders, dude. Yeah, and one of my homies was, like, uh, we were kind of drunk the other day, and we were talking about um, Jerry's uh, B-sides. Yeah. Oh, and he, was like, he was like, man, everyone loves Jerry's B-sides, but we're like, fuck, dude, like, imagine seeing that guy in the streets. You'd be so annoyed. I was like, yeah, right, dude. I would yeah. fucking, I'd be laughing my ass off. Are you kidding? It would be crazy to watch, watch him battle for his tricks, though, for sure. Dude, that shit is gold to me. Like, the, my favorite, like, angry dude is Gravette, though. Gravette will have like mental fucking breakdowns, dude. It's like the funniest shit to me. I don't know why. 
You know, I love and pretty sweet is when. Uh, what's the dude's name that that they have in there when he's sitting in the van, like making fun of everyone? Owen Wilson. Yeah, and he goes. Oh, pretty sweet is pretty sweet. Owen Wilson. Wait, uh, no, no, that's yeah, right. That's yeah, uh, no, it's not Owen Wilson. It's uh, what's the dude's name? I don't know. His name, what the fuck? Give me a second. I'm like being. Anyway, he's in there and he's like, he's like, what are you gonna do, Costa? Go to Shanghai and break all your boards. <laughs> well, Will Arnett. Yeah, yeah, that's Arnett. his name. Will Arnett. There it is. I had um, his fucking face in my head. I couldn't think of his fucking know, name, too. dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is not Shanghai, Costin. <laughs> and Costin just starts laughing. Dude, yeah, that's, that dude's hilarious. He's from Arrested <laughs> Development, man. Dude, he killed it in Pretty Sweet. He has so many funny jokes in there. He's from a lot of shit, but I know him from Arrested Development, I should say. Um... Where were we at? Where are we at in this yeah, list, but, dude? We're dragging uh, ass. We got oh a, another another person leaving a, a, a brand. Jose Rojo left in joy. Weird. Uh, yeah, I was when I saw that headline. I think the I, first person I saw post was the barracks. I was like, whoa! I didn't. Another thing, I had no clue was gonna happen. Um, Interesting. I mean, he's been there forever, so like, well, I don't know what's next. I, mean, yeah, I don't know. I maybe is, is he, maybe. Uh, Something along the lines of um, MJ and Mark. I don't know. Who knows what he's going to do. He posted. I want to pull up the post real quick just to look at it. Uh, yeah, he said, New Year, New Beginnings. Thank you for the years of great times and memories. Enjoy. And Jackson Pill said, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, you know how it like, shows the two comments or whatever? Yeah, I don't know why I find that funny. Oh yeah, man, Jackson that sucks. Up. He's bummed. You know what I really, really actually liked a lot was Jose Rose part that came out last year, 2016. He had such yeah, he skates party. to Eddie Murphy, right? Is that was that him? Uh I don't think it was. Are you sure, dude? I thought he skated Maybe. to party all the time. We could look it up. He had a sick song, but or was that like that Thane dude? Yeah, I think that was Thane and Costa that skated. Okay, to my bad. But Rojo had a really sick part, though. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, I mean, there's not much to say about that. He's off enjoy. We'll know soon what he's doing. He's um, real good. <laughs> some Chicago stuff from Mike Medina. Oh, yeah, that's sick. I'm Chaz hyped on Ortiz, this. Jefe at Jefe. Uh, yeah. New York thing. Oh, it wasn't just Chaz. They had, uh, yeah, we had a Scafele alumni in there, dude. Yeah, yeah. Shout him out. Daniel Scales. Is it Scales or like Scales? Yeah, I believe it's Scales. I mean, yeah, I, I think scales. I don't know. He went off on that. Yeah, he had some dude. crazy. That's Smith. that boy went off, dude. Yeah. Hit the front crook. Yeah, he's skating with some speed now. He's looking good out there, dude. Shout out to Daniel Scales, dude. That shit was fire, bro. Yeah, long time support. Yo, a lot skate of fucking, a lot of Chicago spots in there too that I've skated personally. So it's always cool to see. You ever skated that that like yellow flat bar type thing next to the wall that they just killed? Yeah, I've skated that spot. They killed that spot. Um, there's, there's, there's like a lot of shit in there that's like relatively close to each other too in the city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's. I'm assuming that's how. The, not how because obviously they shred, but I'm assuming that's like why there was a lot of stuff because Chicago has been cold lately. Yeah, I wonder when, uh, when that trip was. I mean, they didn't look very warm in it. That's true. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they that one. There was that ledge like this. That, I think that's the one Daniel did the Smith the front crook. That spot got killed. Yeah, they went off, dude. They went off. Definitely, and there's like stuff, I just watched it once, but that <clears throat> yellow like parking garage flat bar type of thing. Mm -hmm. There's also an out ledge that's like near the loop, and that spot is like actually pretty fucking hard to skate sometimes because there's like a lot of people that'll be like sitting there just like around. Oh, okay. that. So yeah. I don't know. They this kind of like a pain in the ass at times yeah it's always the best like it's cool to hear your uh your point of view just yeah gets, like, i mean dude spots. i've no, definitely like, been to like a majority of those dude if not yeah maybe yeah, that's all. always cool to hear that because like from an outsider like maybe someone watches that video and they're like oh that shooter ledge looks so perfect mm -hmm. but it's like oh so yeah many factors there is an out, there is an out ledge in chicago that's like near all of that shit that is like so perfect yeah yeah I'm surprised more pros haven't filmed stuff on it, to be quite honest with you. 
You know, it's funny. I went to a flat bar spot, and it's called Pomona. It's east of L.A. Mm-hmm. I was there like two or three weeks ago when I was up in L.A., two weeks. And I was skating this thing, and I was like, dude, I'm surprised there's not more footage here because this spot's really good. Mm-hmm. And I, I, get, Chicago I, get, I get home from L.A. I get back to San Diego. I go on Instagram. Two of my friends send me Sh- Shane's post. Shane and Neil skated the same spot later that day. Oh, wow. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> that means that spot just got killed. Yeah. <laughs> Shane probably went off. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I mean, at least New York still has a skate team. Yeah, Chad, I mean, Chad's been there forever. He's been yeah, there but we've seen sure. them ax their entire team in the past. Multiple yeah, times. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. I feel like that Andre Colbert dude has been there forever, too. Yeah, he's like, did he grow up with Chess? I honestly don't know. They seem like they've uh, been in a lot yeah, of I video Yeah, I think I've always just seen together. his name with Chess. Agreed. Like that they've been homies forever or something. Agreed. I've never really seen that dude or like out. Like I've seen you see Chaz pretty often, like skating Grand or skating House of Vans, which is also kind of strange because he's like at House of Vans in the beginning of the video, like setting up a, a board. But then, like later on, they go to Uprise as well, which I'm pretty sure neither of those are like his sponsor. <laughs> no, I think Chaz Chaz reps Uprise on his. Instagram. I didn't know that. I thought he was, like, trying to open his own shop or some shit. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that a while ago. Yeah, I like, didn't know I, I, I did his Instagram the other day, and he kept, like... That must have been, like, something that happened, like, like, later on, because he grew up, like, he was, like, a warp kid. Like, he was, like, a different... That was a skate park, right? Yeah, yeah, like, a, but it was also, like, a shop. Oh, did they close? Yeah. Okay, so then he so just... Like, to, I guess. To yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking going. at his Instagram, and he, like... He's, Tagging Uprise and like a bunch of. I mean, Uprise has a lot of clout, if not like all the clout. Yeah, I mean, like just from the outsider's perspective, when I think of Chicago, that's the shop I think of. Yeah, I mean, Uh, you're not wrong to do that. Yeah, that's just how. how They've been there forever, and they do a lot for skating. So it's like, and like they're like nice, they're super nice dudes down there, man. Like they're not like they're not gonna Chicago you at all. Yeah, yeah. You're not like, gonna get cool cool guy. No, not at all. That's the worst. Dude, and like you get that shit in Chicago, man. There's some yeah, cool I mean, you guys get out that here. Anywhere. Yeah. I mean I'm sure it's out there, you know, maybe Yeah, there's like I mean, there's some yeah. there's some talk some you, you get cool guy anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's that's some trash. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to be like that. I always like think it's funny. Like I always find it like mad humorous when it happens to me. I'm just like, damn, that guy thinks he's like the shit. <laughs> like whoa dude like yeah, like for weird. what yeah <laughs> where did this where did this come from that shit always yeah. blows me um i think by next week's show we will have the announcement of the 2017 trick of the year that's I what i wanted to talk it. about to end the show announcing it this weekend on etn Okay, is that are we done with topics? Because that was what that's that's how I wanted to end. Yeah, that's um. Let me just confirm. Yeah, that's gonna be it for the topic. Oh, that Kevin Romar asked you thing. I guess was kind of. Oh yeah, dude. it was. Mike actually tagged me in that. Yeah, I noticed that too. That was that's that was crazy. interesting. Uh, Kevin Romar posted a photo. I'll show it right here on. The and there was screen. also a comment that says that he no longer rides for Filament. He said that. Yeah, Romar did. Oh, yeah, we've seen him shown in New Balances for a while now, right? Yeah, but, I mean, at least we have, like, confirmation, I guess, so to speak, you know? Yeah, he posted this photo. If we're going to be Yenta, dude, let's, like, be all the way Yenta, dude. (laughs) Yeah, shout out, Rob Brink. Uh, These S's, it says Romar on the insole, and then uh, stitched on the side, it says, welcome to the S team. Fucking crazy color. He posted this last Thursday. It says... Throwback Thursday. This S skateboarding colorway was made for me as a surprise to let me know I was getting on the team. Right before this happened, Supra had offered me to ride for them. I took the Supra thing because S had told me they were going away for a little bit. For, for a bit. A little after I made my decision. Super had to have these, though. Still my favorite shoe brand. So it looks like he's looking for a new home. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, he, he he definitely fits in some uh, in some asses, right? I think so too. That's a good look for them, dude. He's a cool dude. Oh, look, like they, there's a comment right here. Someone said when you came to Oxnard, you had New Balance numerics on, and he said, "Yeah, they give me shoes. These are old." Sick. Now that's kind of interesting, though. You 
I think New Balance is gonna see this like, oh, sick, your favorite shoe company's ads. I mean, dude, I don't, I don't know. That's like a just a weird one. I feel like those shoes that S made for him look like Supras. Well, it wasn't. It was a model. There, Rob Brink commented on it and said, "So rad." Wasn't this a Daniel Garcia pro model at the time? Oh, that's awesome. So Brink obviously knows his shit. Some sort of colorway for Romar. Not actually yeah. his shoe. I'm assuming it's a colorway. Brink knows his shit. Yeah, Brink said, I definitely skated the non-Romar versions. <laughs> um, yeah, that was cool. I had no clue that ever went down. Me neither. Me neither. I saw that. that it made me think of the Adidas Sean Malto thing, though. You remember that? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Yeah, wild. if you Google, you can find – I remember somehow Jamie Thomas. There was, like, two pairs ever made. You Jamie did Thomas weird before. sleuthing, dude. You did hey. crazy weird sleuthing to get that. You, Jamie? You. Oh, what? I first heard about it, like, when it happened, I think Rip Laces well, – that's a sick website, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I think Rip they, Laces, they, they wrote an article about it. And there's images online. If you, if you search, like, Adidas, Sean Walto, you'll probably find it. It's, like – uh, I don't remember which model it is. It's some like simple Adidas model, but it says Malto on the side. And where it gets crazy, I don't know how many people know this. I might have mentioned this in a past episode. Yeah, but it was a true episode, so no one. Yeah, it's gone. It. So I'll say it again. If you watch, it's like some random Sean Malto skull candy, like skate with buds. He cruises around Kansas City thing, and they, he shows in his house uh, some Kansas City football jersey that some player signed. <laughs> I, didn't know. I don't know nothing about. It. I'm not. I don't follow sports. Anyway, and I was like, and it said "Welcome to the team" on it when they showed the dude's signature, and I was like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> so I looked at this dude, and he was some football player that was sponsored by. He was Adidas. like a brand ambassador for Adidas, right? For Adidas, yeah, yeah. So it was like when when Adidas was trying to swoop him up, as Nike was like it was before he, you know, after Etnies in this yeah. little in between zone. Um, and yeah, so they gave him that. They had the shoes with his name on it already. Like, I bet he was so close to signing with them. I bet it was tough, tough pick or whatever it came down to. But Adidas was definitely trying to make him make it happen. Yeah, go watch that video. You can see the evidence for yourself. It's kind of rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, you've seen it, Mike. Yeah. yeah After you good. told me about it, I went. Yeah, I don't know how I pieced that together, but I remember seeing that. And I was like. Dude, what do you mean welcome to the team? He's not he's, he's not on the Kansas City Chiefs. What team are you talking about? He's a dude? fucking wide receiver now. <laughs> and I looked it up and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Malto's a G, dude. Well, Malto's sick. One of the best front crookers right there. He started the it's because of him that Doss Pinch blew up. Uh Eh, no, that, that's the video that blew yeah, up I know. Instagram, though. I know, but I mean, I feel like, yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, that's the video that blew him up. Yeah, Jamie put them on, like, heavy in my Jamie opinion. repped it, yeah. yeah but like, it was, yeah. like, that one edit of, of Malta Nolly Hill front crook at his park, and he's on his heel on his front crook, Dude. and they put 1800. Speaking of Jamie, no man, I cannot <laughs> wait for this Saudi trip video. Uh, that's about it. That's going to be fucked up. The whole state of Florida, just wherever they want to go. Dude, maybe that's where that Zion clip is from. Oh, I don't know if they're on the trip right now. Nah, because I don't think so. Because I know Jamie and Dillo and a bunch of those dudes were just up in SF like for Christmas. Gotcha. So I don't okay. think they – I bet. Dude, like, Jamie I think Dillo's 2018 – It's going to be a sick crew, I bet. Yeah, I think 2018 is the year that John Dillo just like blows the fuck up, dude. He's blowing up. I'm, I'm trying to see his name on a board. Like, that yeah. dude is the man. He is so good. So sick. Insane. And it's, it seems like he's having good. fun with skating, dude. Like, he's doing everything yeah. right, man. Yeah, super good dude. He's not scraping yeah, on his manis. Incredible. What'd you say? Oh, not scraping on his manis. He's not scraping manis. He's so Oh, dude, this is another thing we have to mention. Brandon Beable posted his stage clip. Oh, what was it? Half cap heel and nose manual nollie flip. The I know. One I saw like, it. Tease that in his push episode. I know. I saw it. Yeah. So that, I mean, to me, that's the nail in the coffin. We know he's been putting stuff that was supposed to be in the. Push I wish part. that. Was... I was like, when he posts that, then there's nothing coming out. Let's just DM him, dude. Out. Let's DM him from Skatefile and ask him. Ask him what. Uh, so dude, what's up with your push project, man? 
So what happened to your push project, dude? Money issues is what we've heard in the past, correct? That's trash. So, anyway, yeah. I mean, that's that, right? That's episode 135. That's what went down this week. No, we still got to talk about... Uh, oh, trick of the year? Your, your yeah, pick. Sorry. <laughs> My outro was... You're okay. Uh, You're all good. Trick of the year, dude? I don't know if the trick... Uh, there's going to be tricks went down. No, the there year. has to be one trick that comes to mind, and you're you're lying if yeah, you said Yeah, Tiago's mock bus switch back to... Oh, that's okay. For Mine for me is um, Tommy Finn back lip comes to mind immediately when I think of like shit that was fucked up this year. Oh, also, Yuri... Yuri Ficini, um, oh, kickflip shifty. No, oh, that. that too. But the kickflip shifty at Dime Challenge definitely that stood out to me. Nuts. All fucking year, dude. Like, Let I, me say I feel something like I'm not going to forget that clip, you know? Yeah, oh, for real. That, that shit uh, is insane. That fool is like over 90 degrees turned and then comes back with it. Dude, Wes Kramer switch. switch yeah, shifty that's flip. another one. You're uh, right. Marcy. Switch yep. stance. He goes like 160 yep. degrees. I also really like Boo's laser flip over. It was fucked up. That was sick. That spot and that that spot has debatably the best Dude, backside flip. My ever. homie Ryan skated. Anderson, that yeah. is the best backside flip, in my opinion. I agree. My homie skated that spot, and he says it is so hard to skate that like that they make it look so much easier in footage, dude. Yeah, I'm, I, I bet he's right. And he's I, like the shit. Like my homie's not just like some like mediocre ass dude. Like he fucking shreds, you know. Yeah. Like That's fuck. Like it's it gets killed. It's been getting killed for twenty years, and people are still doing it like MBDs over it. I love all the footage of this. I love Brian Anderson's line with the backside flip too, because it's yeah. followed with the fish eye, and they show him pumping over the. Yeah, that dude's fire. And then Everything the is just so damn powerful. But yeah, I yeah. mean, there is there's a yeah the Yuri trick on the Makba outlet just really fucked up. Um, Miles Trent went um, off on the Makba yeah, and Miles. Miles, the uh, front feeble popover is insane. Um, oh, that one goes. Um, what else do I think? He's Miles back tail on the back pop tail out. Yeah, banger. that's insane. I'm trying to yeah, think of Davis. stuff that like just immediately stands out to me all year. Obviously, oh, Cole Lopez front hurricane flip. Yeah, and Cole fucking grinding up the rails Off and the all kicker. that. Yeah, that definitely stands out to me. Um, Shane switch tail slide laser flip. Shane switch tray nose blunt half cap flip. <laughs> Shane switch flip. Yeah, you know what, you dude? They just might put Shane's whole part yeah, in that. I was topic. just gonna say they might just throw Shane into like a fucking <laughs> category of himself. Yeah, yeah, for real. That's uh, interesting. Jack because... Olson barley grind the king. Yes. Oh uh, my god! Yeah, you're... Jamie Foy, wow. Toro, Jamie Foy, kickflip back fifty. That king Creole that Jack barley. Uh, Holy shit! Yeah, how do you pick one? Dude. I feel like okay. I'm not even trying to be a fucking hater, but I feel like when Kelly Hart did the stage shit, I feel like that was like it, right? And like when Kyle did like the fifty, that was it. Like there was kind of nothing else that came to mind. I was like, damn, that's that's the winning trick right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like this year, dude. Like I cannot think. Like yeah, I say to like me, the, I said the the Tiago Machba switchback tail just because. Yeah, it's insane. Um, it it was like something. <laughs> yo, oh, of course, yeah, it was insane. <laughs> but it was just like the past two years, the winners have been tricks that really went crazy yeah. on Instagram. Like everyone put them on Instagram, yeah. and that's just that. I mean, it's there's also, not only been one this year, but that's what happened with Tiago's. Right. Let's that's also cool. not forget about the uh, switch shove it fakey no or switch shove it switch nose grind fakey tray. That was last year, though. It was. I thought that yeah, was this year. Because I remember that being in the running last year for trick of the year. Oh was, no, you're totally right. I was thinking of a different part. Yeah, but that was insane. <laughs> he no, you're so definitely funny. right. I was thinking of a different part. Oh but, well, you know what he did this year on the table: nollie back one eighty, switch front crook, fakey flip out. Jesus. On the table was just. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy shit, man. I Dude, think man, that. Yeah, like, we we haven't even said like ha this is just coming to our mind right now. Zion Wright with debatably the sickest front big spin ever. Dude, Zion Wright with that, the back spot. three, the back three into that street too, man. Yep, first go. Like, how the fuck? Oh, yeah, I, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's flying Zion, dude. Davis. Davis had some of my favorite tricks. Dude, there's a lot. Ollie to back some right over that table. Nijef back 5 out to 35 stair. Let's not forget about that. Chase Smith grinded it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chase 50 to front board is bucking. Oh, yeah, that was a crazy one, dude. That that could win because that's something I feel like we've never seen anything like we've that. We've never seen anything like that. It's that was wild. 
oh man there's like but then it's like there is a list of just like you could you could put it into subcategories at this point most palooza goes from feeble to from feeble to from feeble the most progressive trick it's like there's like 10 different options dude yeah it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy to pick one trick out of the whole like think of how many how much footage comes out like bro like El Toro got front feebled, front nose blunted, and front crooked all in the same year. Yeah, and, and Chase 5 would it and lip slid it just chilling. Yeah, yeah, just chilling. <laughs> Jamie 50 it literally like it was a skate park rail. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you watch that raw footage and you watch his front 50 down it, he did not give a shit. No, he's chilling. It's, that's crazy to me. He's like my height, dog. It's not like he's like some gigantic dude. Like, yeah, he's a thick motherfucker, but like, it's not like he's like looking down at the rail, you know? Like a figgy or like a dude like that. Yeah. Like, that's like one advantage I feel like the tall dudes have is like rails. You still get buckled. Oh, no, I'm not saying that they can't, but like, you know what I mean? Like when you're skating a ledge or you're skating like something that you can see like down on it, it's always easier to pop up on it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, well, we'll we'll know by next week. Check each end if you got that subscription. I'm sure everyone will see on Instagram who wins as well. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Happy New Year, Tevin. This is the first show of 2018. That means wait. So we started this. Is, when did this? When did Skate Fully start in 2016? I don't know. All of our episodes got deleted, so I don't know. No, I think Skate Fully started in 2015. I'm just kidding. Dude, did you like that Instagram post that I made of uh, Colin McKay? I mean, Drew. Yeah, that's sick. Drew's right there with Colin. They talked about Sheckler backside flipping on Toro. Well, that's a good one. I'm so glad. That popped up on my Facebook yeah, timeline. So random. When you sent me that, I was like, how did you find this? Dude, it popped up on my Facebook timeline, and I just like got like giddy as fuck. I was like, oh, my God, that's the best photo. Because that article is completely gone. That video is completely that gone. Is gone so. Everything is gone. That video was super. It was actually a really good interview. Drew it was a back. really professional. Like he, Dude, Drew handled that interview so well. It was probably the best interview that he released in person. Because I remember there was one that he did from, like, Go Skate Day that I was just like, oh, man, dude. Ooh. Which one was Steezus? Ooh. I don't know. Drew was having a rough one, dude. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I remember the one with Steezus and Rob Brink walks up. Yes, and Brink had on, like, the sock, like the soccer skate shoes that Nike was making. Those oh, were yeah. sick. I wish we still had those. The Lunar Gato? Lunar Gato, yeah, that's what they were called. Yeah, Good shit. shit. Cool. Those shoes were cool as hell, man. Yeah. I never got to skate. It shot, I, I it shot in Chronicles Two. It shot has him on in the. I think it's the line he does. Uh, back fifty. It's just really long kink roll. He meant to back. He was gonna back fifty the whole thing, but he pops out on the flat and then big spins the set. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure he has him on. There's a few. I know exactly what, what line you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's like the sickest back big spin ever. Dude, I think that those were a cool ass shoe that they should bring back. If anything, those were like an athletic looking shoe, you know. Yeah, it's for sure soccer. Mm-hmm. Like Adidas. With I remember, skin. like he interviews CJ, and like CJ gives him like the worst responses, like the worst, like CJ. answer. Um, Cyril Jackson. Oh, Drew did. I don't remember that part. Yeah, yeah, and he's just like kind of. You could tell he's mad fried, and he's just like not yeah. really giving him any responses. And I'm just like, dude, why did Drew even leave that in there? Like Drew, <laughs> Drew should have just asked the whole fucking. Drew, interview. Drew doesn't care though. It's it's no, sick. no, but when dude, when Brink is busting his balls, dude, it's like the funniest shit ever. <laughs> man. He's talking about like you can see boogers up his nose or something like that. Like oh, oh, he was telling him to. To get something to trim his nose hairs. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a man. fucking asshole, dude. That <laughs> shit is so fucking funny, dude. Brink is a legend for that, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting head. he's getting interviewed and fucking tells the guy interviewing to get something to trim his fucking nose hair. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. All I would right. die. I would yeah, fucking that, yeah, die laughing if it was me. Well, we'll be back in one week. We'll chat about well, we'll know the trick of the year. We'll talk about that. Whatever else goes down, hopefully some oh and the new GX one thousand video is coming out today. So we'll have some good stuff to chat about. Yeah. All right. Maybe sabotage will drop six, dude. You wish. We wish. (laughs)